we had done another record for that German label, ZYX or XYZ, or Pepper Cake, whatever the label is. Sorry, I should probably know. But um, we had the first record, uh, Greg Cock, Another Bad Man. That was the one with Malford and with uh, Roscoe and with Tom Breckline. Then the next record was a record called Nation Sack, which was me and Malford. And then my rhythm section from back home, Tom Good, and at the time, Del Bennett on the drums. We did this long tour, and it, man, it just wore on us because we were traveling in that vehicle, you know, the air conditioning, uh, the whole nine yard, Klaus getting lost with a steam powered uh, GPS. We found ourselves in Naples at rush hour. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to paint the picture for you. Naples is like the Wild West of Italy. It is. Everyone always said, and this is at the end of the tour. So we got all of our money. We got everything. You got to be careful in Naples. You got to watch your back. Things happen down there that, you know, it's a little dodgy. Not that they're trying to generalize, but I guess Naples, you got to just have your wits about you. And so we're in downtown Naples and Klaus's directions to get to the club are erroneous. Fancy that. And we find ourselves in this ancient city of Naples where it's, some of the inclines are like San Francisco. You know what I mean? And all of a sudden, Klaus takes a right up a road that as far as the eyes can see, it's cars coming this way. And it's not big enough for cars to go both ways. So it's like literally going, hey, hey, hoo, hoo, hey, hey, hoo, hoo, all the way up this road. And I've got the guys in the back who are like sweltering with heat because of course the air conditioning is compromised. And then we, Malford, who's a Buddhist, who's who's chanting because he's so freaked out by what's going on. And all I'm hearing is, and I'm looking at this road, I'm looking at Klaus, I'm looking at his GPS, which is, you know, just has a big question mark on it. We're going up this road and all of a sudden my phone rings and it's my wife on the line going, you really need to call the school and set up the, the conference is better because this situation is, and I'm going, I, I let me just tell you what's going on here. I'm in the middle of Naples. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm looking at a precipice of vehicles coming in my direction. I don't think we're ever going to get out of this alive. I've got someone mumbling to a deity of, 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 of a nature I don't quite understand at this particular moment, maybe down the line I will. Uh, and I've got Klaus who doesn't believe in the power of genuine communication with the world via smartphone. So I'm afraid I can't call the school right now to reschedule the appointment that we have with our kids for the conference. As a matter of fact, I might throw this phone and get out of this vehicle and run and never be seen again. So anyways, to make a long story short, we did somehow, I know what I had to do. I had to call uh, the agent that actually booked the gig and say, you need to get a hold of the guy that actually the promoter who booked this thing and have them call us and tell us step by step how to get to this place or we may never be seen again. So that's what we ended up doing. We get to the gig and, and the, the best part of the story is, is that Robin Ford came out that night and uh, sat in with the band and we hung out and I um, discovered the glories of Nepalese coffee, which is a very, very dark brew that you can buy at any grocery store and they fill it up in like old juice containers, like uh, glass like orange juice containers, they fill it up with this delicious brew, which has got so much sugar in it. It's kind of like Cuban coffee. If you drink that, it's so good. It's just pure caffeine and sugar. And then life was great again. So earlier in the day, I was ready to run and never be seen again. Later on in the day, I'm, I have dinner with Robin Ford. We have a spirited jam and I drink this glorious coffee. So that day panned out. So that was a day in the life on the road. Can you dig it?